Love this story. If you've ever been to a big water park, chances are you've been on the surfing simulator called the Flow Rider. But did you know that riding its waves is a worldwide competitive sport? I did not know that, <laughs> and I've always wanted to try it. But not only that, one teenager from Greenville was just named the national champion. Who knew? Jennifer Martin has his story. If you can't make it to the ocean to catch a wave, the flow rider is the next best thing. The water shoots up at about 30 miles per hour from the bottom going up, and then the gravity kind of pulls you down the wave because it's on a slope, but the water pushes you up. Combining surfing, bodyboarding, and wakeboarding, it's a surf simulator inspired by the waves in La Jolla, California, that's been popping up in water parks worldwide for the past 20 years including Simpsonville's Discovery Island. It's more difficult than it looks. It takes a long time to learn because the water, it's, if you catch an edge, it's so easy to fall on doing anything. That's where 16-year-old Jeremy Marks has been practicing for years because, believe it or not, riding it is a competitive sport. I think my biggest trick is a double flip because nobody else other than a few people in Australia can do that right now. This summer, he's been flying across the country to compete against the top riders and just won the national championship in his division. It's pretty cool to have worked for six years and finally be the national champion. A rising junior at Malden High School, there's no telling how many hours he's spent perfecting tricks. I usually come about 80 days a summer, and I've been coming for six summers, so wow. a long time. Some of them he probably wiped out 100 times learning it. His dad actually competes in the adult division and says it's a fun way for them to push each other. It's been a great time for us. You know, a lot of just good bonding. We go on trips together, so it's been an amazing father-son experience. With a national title under his belt, Jeremy says next year he's going pro and can't imagine ever getting tired of this unique sport. I got to travel around and see places that I'd never go to without it. So far, there's always been another trick that I can learn and something else to work on. For Scene, I'm Jennifer Martin. Really cool. That's what I think I could do in my head, but not, <laughs> yeah, not in real life. I don't look like that. But. <laughs> the Flow Rider World Championships on the weekend of November 3rd in Cancun gets a little vacation, uh -huh. and Jeremy is still deciding on whether he'll compete or not. Come on, Jeremy, you can do it. He's in Cancun. Go yeah. do it. If you need <laughs> photographers, maybe we, we could, could go. Twist our arms a little bit. <laughs>